Good evening, Internet. Hope that you are doing well. We are back for another night of strange and scary games. Uh, in the last video, we played The Other Side. In this video, I was going to play Control Room Alpha. Let me inspect it real quick. Control Room Alpha 2022. It's your first day on the job as a crane operator in a dodgy underground science facility. Your supervisor will show you the ropes. Oh, and by the way, I hope you didn't lie on your resume regarding the fact that you're not scared of spiders. It's a great little horror game that does a great job of world building, scares it in dark humor, all in just five minutes. So this one's probably going to be pretty short, maybe even shorter than the other one. There we go. Hey, it worked. Control room alpha. E or left mouse. What? Do I copy? That's awful. the samples like already in um This laser is giving me Oh, I see. My perspective is off. <laughs> Release. Okay. We uh we use Vietnamese currency, huh? Oh, I don't like that. Standing by. 
most of them. Big ass spiders, exit at your own risk. We would really love a run function, Mike. They're more scared of me than I am of them. I know. What now? an orb. Uh, so that was the second game in the Unsorted Horror, uh, Control Room Alpha. A little bit shorter than the first one. Uh, I've, a little bit less interesting mechanically, but I did like the scare. Um, are, are we, are these connected? Is the spider from, is this the spider shadow monster thing from, uh, the other side supposed to be like one of the creatures from control room alpha or are they like separate things? Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me get out of here. All right. So, since that one was so short, what do you say we do another one? Carbon steel. Carbon steel is an experimental puzzle horror game where you conduct unethical research in an underground laboratory. Work out how to operate miscellaneous machines, cross-check data tables, and procure general anesthesia. The difference between life and death can be overlooked can be any overlooked detail. 15 to 20 minute playthrough, over 10 pieces of separate equipment, personal Apple Lisa 2 computer, crisp floppy disks, and multiple endings. So I'm assuming that this one is going to be more like the first one, but with, um, with less, uh, less direction. Carbon steel. Shuttle four. Passport. Shuttle eight. You. Papers, please. Shuttle one. Do I, do I get my papers back? I, I'd like my passport back, please. Jabu, I like your jams.
Well, bye. There appears to be a person on that. Anon, hello. Greetings from the research team. You will be carrying out the main sample pool from the pit, which hosts a multitude of pressure-treated organisms. After the pool is, successful, is successfully completed, you will hand the data over to the team. As we discussed, this job will take a total of three days. We are still in the middle of setting up some of the equipment. Please enter your holding cell. Dreaming of those blue skies on the other side. Alright, no more person. Carrier vessel console. No life forms detected. Controls unlocked. Hold main lever to initiate ascents. Good morning. We are ready to begin. Raise the life form vessel with the main control lever. It will automatically surface. You will find blank data cells in the canister rack, along with empty anesthesia canisters. The life form must be unconscious for the duration of the data pool. Procure the correct mixture using the subclass weight data labels. Please begin. We are e eager to get started. Air vessel control console. No life form detected. Controls unlocked. Hold main lever to initiate ascent. Uh, what are we? Anesthesia formulator. Insert canister. Does that do anything? Do we need to do something or? Something's coming. What are we doing? Automatically surface, you'll find blank data cells in the canister rack along with the empty anesthesia canisters.
Where am I putting this canister? sure how to proceed. That thing is making a lot of noises. Where are we going? What are we doing? Delta class, Charlie class, Beta class. Okay. Weight 138. So it needs 40 nitrous, 39 ISO. And 21 Sivo. Do I need three canisters over here? What's going on? This light is on over here, so should I try here? What is happening? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm trying. So plus two, okay. Still doesn't help me because I still don't know how to make this thing work. Insert canister, armed. Uh, 
I would really love just a little bit more direction in this one. Okay, there we go. Nitrous. Subclass 2, beta 138. 138 is 40 nitrous. Select, clear, done, pour. Oh, lever, pour. There we go. 40. Twenty. Yeah, that's fine. Good enough for government work. Uh, 40. Is that because I had the mixture level wrong? Okay, we got it. Delta class. Subclass three. One hundred and thirty six pounds. So fourteen forty forty six. Fourteen forty forty. 
And then 46. 46 Sivo. And then done. Did it work? Are we good? Now what? Now we use these. Did we just incinerate that, that thing? The sphere? Uh, hi. You're different. I like that. That was a good nightmare. Your work yesterday was excellent. The data you pulled far exceeded our expectations, especially considering the fact that this laboratory hasn't been in use for decades. The engineer has finished setting up the old surface analyzer. You can use it to pinpoint exact data class measurements from otherwise unknown life forms. This will aid us in gathering even better data. If your work continues at this pace, then we have big plans for you. We have less information this time.
Read carefully. The contents of the system will be erased once ejected. We haven't met, but I'm the engineer. I overheard a conversation from the researchers. You're in trouble. I'm working on getting you out. I've taken out uh, one of the data cells. You'll find it tomorrow marked with an X. Give it to the researchers once you're done. I won't hang around for long. It's either tomorrow or never. See you soon. Alpha Beta. Beta subclass two. One sample so this is the last day right he said earlier that it took three days Once again, the data you provided is excellent. Well done. We are now ready to begin the final pull. The vessel has been honed to far lower depths than earlier, meaning that this organism will be exceptionally violent. Use your newly equipped fabricator to repair the exterior of the carrier vessel. Prevent it from breaking through. Tomorrow is a very big day. Get some rest once you're finished. Use your newly equipped fabricator. That's that. One of these is marked with an X, right? That one, okay. So this is the ticking clock now.
this some more time. It's Delta class, subclass two. Delta, subclass two, and it's 109. So 10, 14, 76. Seventy six. Fourteen. Ten. gonna happen did we die did we do it did the bus driver help us out I thought that the engineer was the one helping us out Are you the engineer? Uh, I guess we're done. Was uh, Jabu not the the uh, music for this one? Because I like the music in this one. This one was really good. So for that one, uh, the only... Uh, real criticism criticism that I have is that there should have been something in the uh, email that says that um, the the rack has two settings. So there's one for uh, one for the anesthesia, one for the creature, because it just said the canisters for the anesthesia and the canisters for the creature were both on the rack. So I just assumed that there was one rack when in reality there's two. Um, it says we can continue, so I could do some more endings for that one. I did like the mechanics of this game. I, I enjoyed the, the fact that 
Um, it's more mechanically sound than uh, what was the second one that we did? Um, that one was very, very light on the mechanics, so this one is a little bit more complicated. There's a bit more game in my game. Uh, so let's do the thing. Get that ready. Get this ready. Delta subclass three, Delta subclass three, and it's 140, so 35, 45, 20. Put it in. the way. Done. Start. Use the X. We just finished reviewing the final data pool. Indeed, your work has proven to us that the risk is justified by the benefits. Excellent work. However, compared to ourselves, the life forms we have previously studied are significantly less advanced. We believe that a human body would yield far more interesting results. You will have the honor of being the first pressure-treated human. Please remain seated.
Alright, so the um the writing in that ending I don't know. It's interesting that uh it's implied that whoever we're working for isn't human. Um I liked that the bad ending appears to be like us getting a taste of our own medicine. Like we've been doing this work on other life forms, uh, pressure treating them apparently. Um, and then we get that uh, done to us. Uh, but it's a little bit abstracted because the other ending isn't us like finding our masters and doing it to them. Um, I'm assuming that it's only the two endings. It might be more. But yeah, um, let's get back to the main menu. I want to talk about these two games. We've got Control Room Alpha. This one was very simple, very short. Uh, it looked like you had a setup for uh, four canisters. So it would have been nice if there was just a little bit more build up, like uh, if. Uh, the first canister, you go in and it's fine. The second canister, like you start hearing something behind you. Um, the third canister, like the window breaks like you did. Uh, and then the fourth canister is like, uh, it goes off fine. And there's that like release of tension where you're like, okay, we're done with the, the thing. Uh, and then it's like, okay, we need you to collect one more sample. This is the master sample. And you're like, oh, why? Um, and then the crane breaks and you're like, well, please go out, put it back into the, the collector yourself. Um, and then as you're coming back, you get grabbed by a spider or something. Uh, I did like the bait and switch with the sphere, the, the Michael Crichton-ish sphere that comes out. Um, the spider comes at you. Uh, but it's it's one of those things where like uh, it could have been just a little bit more. Um, it was interesting. I don't want to say it was a bad game or anything. Uh, it just could have been a little bit more. That's my point. Uh, Carbon Steel, I liked the mechanics of this game. It was really interesting uh, going through, uh, figuring things out. Uh, the one thing that I, I mentioned previously was the, uh, the racks for the canisters. Uh, I didn't realize that there were two racks. I thought there was only one rack. Uh, just put in the email. Um, there's two racks, one for the canisters, one for the, uh, one for the canisters for the life form, one for the canisters for the anesthesia, uh, a little bit less confusion. Uh, I did like that it was a little bit less handholdy than the other one. I liked figuring the things out. Uh, I just needed that little bit of direction. Uh, and then the endings were interesting. Uh, the escape ending was less interesting. I, I'd like a little bit uh, more information, like why is the engineer helping us? Why is the bus driver the engineer? Why is the engineer the bus driver, whichever one it is. Uh, but just a little bit more information about what's actually going on. Um, even if it's just the engineer being like, let's get you out of here, uh, you're safe now. Because um, I don't know if we're just going to another cell. It seems like most of this world is just metal boxes. Um, so just a little bit more information would have been appreciated, but I, I like the game as it is. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me for another night of strange and scary games. I will see you in the next video.